D-Lo 404 Boxing. All right, y'all, what's going on with the Tank Davis versus Ryan Garcia fight? You know, this fight been kicked around for a couple years now. Um, and and I, in full disclosure, let me state that I've never felt like the fight was as big as most. Um, I, I This is actually a fight that I think the boxing insiders, in terms of the people who actually have the ability to make the fight, they feel the fight's bigger than I feel like it is. When like um, when it comes to Spence versus Crawford, I think that they don't realize or feel the fights as big as us fans feel like it is. But and, and the and the only reason I say that is because Ryan Garcia just doesn't really, you know, he really doesn't um, you know, he really doesn't draw big crowds or has not I think he has started to recently, but he had previously, you know, he had he really wasn't a big draw. It was all about his followers on social media that was was really like, you know, making it seem like he was this big star in the sport, but it wasn't translating. His numbers weren't translating to um to boxing, to actual gate numbers or, or you know, viewership. And and he's, you know, definitely haven't been on a pay-per-view. And don't get me wrong, I'm not asking for him to be on a pay-per-view. I think there are far too many of them in boxing anyway. But I definitely feel like... um. You know, it's, it's a hot fight. And and the fight's grown on me. You know, do I think the fight will do good numbers if they put it on pay-per-view? Yeah, I think it will. I think, um, you know, I think Tank, Tank Davis has shown that he can do decent numbers. And then I, I, I do believe that of all the opponents he's had to date, that Ryan Garcia will help him do better numbers than any of the other fights. But so many of those fights Tank has had on pay-per-view, I felt like weren't pay-per-view worthy fights. I didn't think the Barrios fight should have been on pay-per-view. Didn't agree with Leo Santa Cruz on pay-per-view. Didn't agree with Roley Romero being on pay-per-view. So I guess by by comparison, this fight would be Tank Davis's biggest fight in terms of uh, notoriety and recognition and getting eyes from the casuals who it, it are usually the target, audi target audience. And, and I say that all the time because a lot of us diehard fans we get upset and confused with, with why things aren't happening on our time and when we think they should happen. And, and the reality is that when we're on a fight or on a fighter, you know, in terms of we recognize who they are and we're, wanna, we're clamoring to see them, the casuals are probably a year, two, maybe two and a half years behind catching up. So with that being the case, that, that always, you know what I'm saying, halt, halt, halts things from happening on our time because we're not the target audience and and that's what a lot of us got to understand while we are the ones who support the fight game in and out we support it day in day out we're always supporting these obscure events and pay-per-views that aren't really pay-per-view worthy we we aren't the ones we aren't the majority there are a lot more casual fans than there are fans like us and the target audience is always going to be them I think there is a perception that we're going to be there, you know, um, because we, we're the ones when they say you can kick fans around and kick them down the street like a can or whatever Bob Aram said and just do them any kind of way. He's talking about us. He's not talking about the casual fans because the casuals have so many more interests than the sport of boxing and they're quick to turn away from the sport of boxing and move on to something else. But I, I will say that the casuals are interested in this Ryan Garcia and Tank Davis fight. I'm starting to hear people ask about it. So now, fast forward from the time when the fight was really talked about being kicked around, it has grown into a fight that I think casuals are ready and willing to pay for. They're anticipating the fight. Okay? When I say that the fight's not that big of a fight and I feel like it's not really a pay-per-view worthy fight, I look at it by comparison to matchups. You know what I'm saying? I'm not really looking at it in terms of popularity because I don't know what Ryan Garcia's social media followers are because I, I just hear it. I don't follow him on social media, so I've never actually seen his numbers. I just hear people talking about he has a lot of followers, like a trillion followers and such, you know. Um, but... When I think about the fight itself, I, I, I think about Teofimo Lopez versus uh, Lomachenko, where they had three belts on the line at 135 pounds. Both fighters are, are pretty noteworthy. Um, I'll say in terms of popularity, 
and, and amongst us boxing fans, they're probably right there in line with Tank Davis and Ryan Garcia. But there again, I'm talking about us diehard boxing fans. So in terms of notoriety when it comes to the casuals, who, as I stated, are the majority, then I understand why there is a desire to put this fight on pay-per-view and, and maximize the revenue and, and make the fight at what they call the right time. But we heard all of 2022 that this fight was happening this year. Ryan Garcia has actually come out and voiced his frustration about the fight. There have been a couple times when Tank and Ryan Garcia have posted tweets that led us to believe that the fight was done. But then here we sit, November of 2022, still no fight announcement. So the fight's definitely not taking place in December. Uh, we know Tank Davis has a little a legal issue going on that um, you know, could be uh, part of the problem. But at the same time, we also saw Floyd Mayweather have a legal issue in, in, in a pending prison sentence, and they still got his fight done, and he was allowed to, you know, um, start his sentence after his fight was complete. So, I, and, I, and I'm, not, I'm not saying that I think Tate Davis is going to prison. I'm just I'm just using that for an example to say that it can be done. Um, but, you know, it, it's one of those things where you just have to wonder what is going on behind the scenes. Why haven't they gotten this fight across the line? Um, why haven't we heard anything about, you know, uh, the fight, you know, being potentially coming up in a certain part of the year? I mean, I've heard some stuff from from some people who have some sources on the inside about when the fight may happen. But at the same time, we hear a lot of things. And I mean, if we if we go by everything we heard on the Terrence Crawford, Errol Spence saga, I mean, it's six, seven, eight dates that came out. And, and, and a lot of them seem credible. But then we still ended up without a fight. So I, I, I think with this, this fight is not as much back and forth. It's not as much you know, going on with the fans and, and all the um, build up and arguing and all that amongst fan bases. But I think a lot of that is because so many people are wrapped up in the Terrence Crawford, Errol Smith Jr. saga that they're not really paying attention that the Tank Davis and Ryan Garcia fight is, is dragging along as well. So I, I'm just curious, you know, um, anybody, you know, listen to the video, feel free to drop your opinion, your, your comment. Let me know what you think is the hold up. And let me know if you think this fight is uh, is actually going to come to fruition. Um, is this going to be the next fight for, for both guys? Or will we see Ryan in the ring with someone else? Will we see Tank in the ring with someone else? And then they continue to try to build a fight? Is it that the um, the promotional outfits don't think the timing is right? They're not hearing enough buzz for the fight outside of us diehards? Um you know what? What's the what's the deal? Are they are they waiting on someone's contract to be up, or is someone negotiating a, a, a new contract, and and they're 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 not going to make the fight unless they sign a certain you know deal or something like that? I mean, what what is the hold up? You know, because I, I, I look at it like this: regardless of how I feel about the fight, more people feel like it's a a, a major fight for the sport, and um I think that's what matters. If the majority feels like it's a major fight and they want to support it, then it, the fight needs to happen. And don't get me wrong, I definitely will support the fight because I look at it like this. I supported Tank versus Leo Santa Cruz, and even though Leo Santa Cruz is a far more accomplished fighter than, um, than Ryan Garcia, I, I really felt like going into that fight, that was more of a foregone conclusion that Tank David was going to end the fight in the manner in which he did. Whereas with Ryan, I feel like it's a, a more would be a more closely contested fight, just based off the skill sets of both guys, what I've seen in both guys, them being around the same weight class a lot longer, and and, and just um everything that they bring to the table, and I and I know that uh the fans are going to get behind the fight because like I said, I'm hearing casuals talk about the fight. I'm getting asked by people who never really pay attention to what's going on in boxing. Hey, what's going on with that Tank Davis kid? And that Ryan Garcia, um, the guy with the fast hands that does those commercials, what, what, what's, what's the deal? So that, that tells me that the fight has grown on, on casuals, which which makes me feel like, OK, the time is, is right for them to make this fight because casuals do have a short attention span and, and they will turn away from the sport and turn away from um, what they think is hot in one moment and go to something else. Because a lot of them are MMA fans as well. 
and most and many of them are bigger MMA fans than they are boxing fans. So I think they better go ahead and, and, and make this fight and get it right. But I definitely like to know in the comment section what y'all think the situation is. Do y'all think we get this fight next? Do y'all think we get this fight in 2023 at all? Do y'all think that these guys end up going, being in two separate weight classes and, and uh, the fight gets pushed further and further down the line? Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section. That's all I got on it. D-Lo 404 Boxing. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'm out. Peace.